hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's so good to have you here once again i am adama on Vukeme. on this channel i share tips for parents i share for teenagers i talk about my faith and i talk about my life in korea and if any of these things are things you're interested in please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my youtube channel so today's video is for parents Parent to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So today I'll be talking to parents. Yeah, we all know that parenting is one of the most challenging jobs and assignments to the world, and it's the most rewarding. And it requires a lot of patience, a lot of love and sacrifice. You know, without patience, it's almost impossible to parent right, you know? So as our children grow and you know, they hit milestone from a baby, a toddler, and, you know, he goes to become, he goes to elementary school, and then he goes to high school, and then he's going to the university. All of these are milestones. And as this transition from one phase to the other, the things we have to do to prepare them as they hit their milestone, as they transition from one phase to the other. So today I'll be talking to parents on tips they need to prepare their children, you know, for a beautiful future. Okay, let's get right to it. Number one tip that I will encourage our parents to um, instill in their children is to encourage independence. You know, nowadays it's very... I, I watched a video recently and the man was saying that parents of now, there's just, you know, you just do everything for the child. And so he gave an example. When his child was growing up, um, the child, the, the, he came and like, Dad, uh, I broke my toy car. Like, oh, yeah, okay. He took the car and he dropped it in the dustbin. And the boy was like, my car, you trashed it. He's like, yeah, the wheel is broken. You said the wheel is broken. Like, what, what are we going to do? Like, okay, maybe I can fix it. And the boy, he t the father took out the, the, toy for, the toy car from the trash and gave it to the boy. And somehow the boy was able to fix the, t the toy. And he was just saying, he was giving that example that, Parents now, they just do everything for the children. And I see it's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's something that's rampant now. We watch for your child. You don't teach your child to be independent. That when they even grow up, they are still, they, they, they are still leaning on you. They don't even become their own person. So we need to encourage dependence. We need to teach our children to do things on their own and take care of themselves. We need to allow them. Simple things like making their beds. Simple things like cooking. I remember growing up, as little, I think we were just four or five years old. Even though we we're not going to wash our socks, but our mom made sure that when we came back from school, we tried to wash our socks ourselves. You know, that's going to teach you a bit of independence. You no, know, doing laundry. This will help your child develop self-sufficiency and be ready for the challenges ahead the next thing that i encourage parents to instill in their children is to teach financial responsibility teach your children to save teach them to invest teach them to manage their resources the finances wisely you know you um for many parents you buy this piggy box so when you give your child money encourage them to drop something in that box every day or every month or every week they shouldn't just be spending money buying sweet, buying candy and the rest of it. No, this will help them to become financially independent in the future. To prepare your child for the future, you also need to teach decision making skills. Teach your children how to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of, of anything and make informed decisions. Teach them to weigh pros and cons. This will help them to become self-sufficient. And then when we can do this, one way we can do this is to provide them with, with choices. You know, give them options, allow them to make their own decision, make their own choices. This will help them understand the consequences of decisions that they make. And they will learn to, uh, uh, you know, learn to weigh the, the pros and cons. One way we can also um, help our children to grow response, to, to, to have a beautiful future, is to teach them responsibility. We need to help our children understand the importance of being responsible people. We need to teach them how to care for their belongings. Teach them to take responsibility for their uh, actions. You know, let's teach them not to blame the or to blame their sibling. Oh, my sibling. Oh, my brother made me hit him. My brother made me do. You know, they should take responsibility for their decision and understand that for every decision they make, there is a consequence or there is a result. You know, and this will help them develop that sense of accountability. 
to prepare your child for the future another thing we need to teach our children to help them is to foster assertive communication still skills we need to encourage our children to be able to express themselves and we will do this when we don't shut them off you know we need to teach them encourage them to listen to others there's some i can't remember how i learned this thing but i remember even growing up this part of it that when i see people talking i don't just badge in and like you know i don't just go and i i say excuse me you know if i find my mom and and some of from elderly people talking together i you just go like i tap my mom i like i say excuse me to cut to, to cut to catch their attention and then they stop talking and look at me like okay um i want to speak to my mom you know so teach them to do that they shouldn't just interrupt discussions teach them to listen to people teach them the uh, um the value of clear and effective communication they're able to build you know strong relationship when they're able to communicate effectively and clear this will help them in building strong and healthy relationship Another way to prepare your child for a beautiful future is to teach them good study habits. Encourage your child to be organized. Encourage them to be focused and dedicated to school. But then they should learn to create a balance. Everything should not be, they go to school in the morning, they come back, they do homework, then you come back again, you do tutorial, and then the child every day, school, school, no, they should be balanced. The child should, yes, yeah, study for the school and get involved in extracurricular activities and still have time to unwind. The child should not be buried in books. They need to also be engaged in other activities aside from studying. And this is very important because nowadays I see many parents just book, 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 book. That's not very healthy for your child. You need to encourage the child to get involved with other things. Yes, they should have good study habits. One other thing you do is to encourage healthy habits. And I wish that I knew this beforehand because, you know, our body is a vessel. That's one thing we should understand. Our body is a vessel and we need to nourish our body, take care of our body properly. So we need to teach our children the importance of exercise, the importance of proper nutrition and enough sleep. You need your body to function because you need, without a healthy lifestyle, your body will break down. You know, today I see a, a generation of children eating junks, always feeding on junks, everything. This, the, the food is not balanced. You know, you eating ramen, morning ramen, afternoon ramen, <laughs> evening ramen, and then you take snack, you take burger, you take um, French fries, like the French fries from Magna, you're drinking cola, and you no, know, the child is just sitting down for morning to night, no exercise, no running about. No, that's not, that's not healthy at all. We need to teach our children to, you know, have a, maintain a, a healthy lifestyle. I know today, most children are engrossed with electronic devices that they do not even have time to move even around the house. They do not even not able to dispense their energy in physical activities. You know, even simple things like eggs, veggies. Many children don't even like to eat it. We need to introduce our children to all of these things to introduce them to healthy diet so they don't grow up on unhealthy food. If you're still watching up at this time, please don't forget to like this video. And consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Yes, in preparing our children for a better future, for a beautiful future, we need to help them understand emotions. Children, uh, as they're growing up, even till they become teenagers, they're not able to manage their emotions. We need to teach them to recognize, to understand their emotions, and how to manage them healthily. You know, a child is is just so. <laughs> Tell him, let's settle down, cool down. If you don't settle down, if you don't calm down, mommy is not going to listen to you. You need to calm down and talk to me gently, you know. So you, we need to we need to teach our children to be able to manage their emotions. This will help them develop empathy. They need this because it's very crucial in building healthy relationship. Another way we can help our children as they grow to have a beautiful future is to promote self-care. We need to encourage our children to take care of themselves, take care of their mental health, take care of their physical health. Rest is important. Exercise is important. Good nutrition is important. Now, to cap it all, the most important thing we need 
to help our children to prepare for the future is to be the role model. You can teach them independence. You can teach them to be financially responsible. You can teach them you know, to be creative. You can teach them to take responsibility. But if you don't model this life for them, all of all these things is not going to work because children learn by example. They learn by what they see. So we have to make sure that we mold out the behavior we want to see in them so that they are able to develop these healthy habits and become well-rounded individuals. We need to be role models. We need to be role models. So dear parents, please be a role model. It's not just enough to talk and talk and talk and teach. We need to teach. We need to model this lifestyle by the way we live, you know? So I hope, yeah, uh, all of these tips... Um, You've gained a lot. I hope you've gained so much. What are the tips do you think parents, um, what are the ways, yeah, what are the ways do you think, you know, parents can help their children, you know, to have a better future? Please leave in the comment section. And if you love this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Till I come your way next time, keep living intentionally. Bye for now.